Hello, everybody. Um, on behalf of the league, very pleased to announce that a few moments ago, the membership voted unanimously to award Super Bowl 58 in 2024 to Las Vegas. And we uh, and the membership are very excited for what that Super Bowl can hold in an incredible big event town. And we've got great partners, some of whom you'll hear from in a moment, but just really strong support from Las Vegas, from the county, from the state, and from all of the partners um, behind putting together a very strong proposal and what will be a, a tremendous Super Bowl. Uh, clearly, the, the Las Vegas Raiders, uh, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, um, incredible partners, and, and we're not strangers uh, to each other, given that we've got two other major NFL events, our first major NFL events right in front of us with the 2022 Pro Bowl in Las Vegas at the end of this season, and then the 2022 NFL Draft in Las Vegas to set the stage for the Super Bowl in 2024. So without further ado, um, I will introduce Mark Davis from the Las Vegas Raiders. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. I guess, I guess I'm talking and not uh, answering questions here, but uh, first thing I'd like to say is Las Vegas, the Super Bowl is coming. And uh, I think there's some people that I'd like to thank, um, starting with Roger Goodell, the National Football League, and my 31 other partners for uh, trusting us with the uh, most valuable asset that the uh, NFL has. And uh, I'd also like to uh, go back and thank uh, leaders and the vision that they had, Sheldon Adelson, Steve Wynn, former Governor Brian Sandoval, and current Governor Steve Sisolak. And finally, but uh, not the least, is uh, Napoleon McCallum, who probably we wouldn't be here without his efforts uh, of putting us and uh, the Sheldon Adelson together. Um, it's a big day for the Raiders. It's a big day for the city of Las Vegas. Um, I think it's a marriage made in Heaven, I'll say. Some others may use a different word, but uh, we are just really, really excited. And uh, with that, I'll talk to put it over to Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Peter. Um, it is really a pleasure to be here today and to uh, be a part of this announcement. Um, I want to thank uh, the NFL. Um, all of the owners, uh, as Mark said, for putting their trust in Las Vegas, um, will we'll uphold that well. Um, we are putting um, the greatest championship game on earth um, in the greatest arena on earth, and it is going to be a spectacular event. Um, as Peter mentioned, we have uh, the Pro Bowl coming, we have the draft coming in just the next several months. Um, he said yesterday, um, we've been working closely enough with your team over the past four years that feels like we've put 10 events on uh, by now, but um, the first one will be uh, in February with the Pro Bowl, um, but the, um, the Super Bowl coming to Las Vegas uh, is going to be an event like no other. Um, we're exceptionally excited to host that. Um, I want to thank Mark and the entire Raiders organization. Um, I said to the owners earlier, um, I don't think there has been um, a city and a team uh, that have been both uh, as equally impacted by a move um, as when the Raiders came to Las Vegas. And uh, it has, I, I know, meant a lot to the Raiders, but it has meant an inordinate amount uh, to Las Vegas. It has been a key part of our recovery uh, from the pandemic. Um, and it wouldn't have happened without Mark's diligence and his commitment and his sincerity to make that happen. So uh, thanks for doing that. Um, but we're excited. Um, Super Bowl is coming to Las Vegas. Okay, we do have time for a couple quick questions before we need to get Mr. Davis back to the meeting. So we do have microphones on the sides. Yes, right there. Thank you. Thank you. For uh, Peter. Um, it seems like in quick order, Las Vegas has established itself as a go-to destination for, for you guys for big events. Um, in a bigger picture, how pleased are you with how things are going in Las Vegas and, and what that market now represents and offers to the NFL? Very, really pleased, you know, tremendously pleased. Obviously, um, the Raiders have really instantly established themselves so well in the market. 
um, and their leadership in the market. And then partners like Steve um, and all of our partners in Las Vegas have just been tremendous uh, over this run-up period. And, and like Steve said, it feels like we've been, we've been dancing with each other for a while. Obviously, the pandemic disrupted the timing of our first Pro Bowl year and the draft year. Um, but now we sit poised for what is a pretty unprecedented run. Never before has a city had the Pro Bowl, the draft, and then the Super Bowl. So I think that points to a level of confidence from the membership, from the owners in Las Vegas as a great destination, a place where fans and partners want to congregate, and just a great stage for some of our biggest assets. So I would say we feel very, very good about where we are. Now we got to bring it to life. <laughs> Uh, obviously, the, the weekend is huge anyway. Hundreds of thousands of people come for the weekend, maybe not the whole week, but a lot of in terms of the gaming and everything. So how is this different from, you know, an, an, another normal year? Yeah, uh, thanks, Ed. Um, it, it, we, we are generally full. I mean, we, we say all the time that there are more people in Las Vegas for Super Bowl weekend than there are in the host city where the Super Bowl is. Um, that's true. Uh, we have 150,000 hotel rooms that makes it, uh, makes it happen. Um, we did a study uh, going into this uh, to determine what the impact would be f for Las Vegas. Um, the number that we um, got back was over $500 million additional incremental economic impact. Um, in addition to that, we uh, think that the uh, Super Bowl will generate about $70 million in state and local taxes. Um, so it has a big impact, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, while we are full on Super Bowl weekends, um, room rates in those weekends are fairly normal. Um, the, the, the drive from the Super Bowl will allow those rates to increase. Um, and the spending that takes place around the Super Bowl uh, when the event is in your city is much greater than it would be without. Um, it's also a week-long party and a week-long celebration. There are a dozen, 14 events uh, around the Super Bowl. So we will be driving um, attendance to Las Vegas for the, that week for everybody, um, but also just gearing up for the Super Bowl takes quite a while and a tremendous amount of effort on the part of the NFL and uh, their vendors, their sponsors, uh, all of that. Um, so when you add all that together, it's not just that Saturday and Sunday. Um, it's a several week process that, that really adds uh, to the business side of this uh, for Las Vegas. Mark, um, when, when your organization and the Raiders uh, began their journey uh, toward Las Vegas, you made a pledge that these things would be coming as part of that partnership and that, and that deal. Um, I could see your smile that you're pretty happy that it's come to fruition the way it has, but how happy are you that it's led to this this quickly? I'm absolutely thrilled. <clears throat> In the first SNTIC meeting that I attended, I told the, the people there that Las Vegas, you're not just getting a football team. You're getting the power and the assets of the entire National Football League. And for them to put the confidence in us this soon to give us the Pro Bowl, the draft, and I think the most valuable asset, not only in the National Football League, but maybe the world, the Super Bowl, this soon is just a confirmation of what we have done so far. The building that we built is absolutely magnificent. The city is absolutely magnificent. And I'm just so excited that these things have come to fruition. And uh, it's a very, very good day for the Raider organization and the Raider Nation and Las Vegas as a whole. We're very proud of that. Okay, that'll uh, do it for here. Thank you very much, Mark. Yeah. Stephen, Peter. Thanks, everybody.